Okay, Jim, you just started this week as your role as RCFA's first elite uh, performance director. How excited are you with the post? Really looking forward to it. Uh, as expected, people have been great, very welcoming. Uh, it's an exciting new prospect for me. Uh, it's something different, it's something I haven't done before. Uh, really looking forward to working with a lot of good people, a lot of good work has well, uh, already been established uh, at uh, grassroots and also elite development programs but uh, obviously the FA have come up with this initiative and they should be congratulated on that and to be the first is uh, obviously a, a, quite an honour. You're responsible for all the elite players, uh, both boys and girls, uh, what's your short term and long term aims? I think it's, it's a matter of making sure that we tick all the boxes with regards to gathering information and speaking to a lot uh, of people uh, because I, I, when you come into an organisation you, you tend to you know look to see what's wrong and that's for me the wrong steps going forward. I think you go, you look at it and you say I'm sure there's been so many good things I think it's important that we recognise that, recognise the good work that people have done and then uh, we've got to you know look at how we can develop young players and both girl and boys and make sure that we do everything we can to give them uh, the right mentality uh, going forward and trying to produce top class players. In addition to overseeing the Elite Player Development and Association Coach Education Programme, you know, you're obviously working closely with national team managers um, and I was your aiming to build a pipeline for future Northern Ireland teams. Yeah, well, he'll want to convey a belt of talent, and I have to try and produce that. Again, you know, we do have a plan, and when that plan has been discussed and released to the general public, I'm sure they'll all agree that it is the way forward for us. In any, in any sport, uh, I always felt, and I still believe, that uh, the more contact time you have with people and the more quality information you give uh, any player, senior player, down to grassroots if you like, I think the more time you can spend with them, the more time you can uh, give them quality input, the better they'll be and you know practice and application and dedicated, dedication to your job is so very important and these are sorts, sort of the things that we'll be trying to get uh, across the young players.